Now we are ready to add the new functionality. And to add the new functionality, we would need to change one of our old script and we need to add a new script. The script that we need to change is our chess script. Because if we click on the chess script right here, you'll see that there's not a lot of uh, functionality in it. You can try to open it up here and you'll see that the chess script itself only refers to um, the inventory that is being shown to you when you open up a chest. And what we want to do is to take the functionality from the inventory here that dictates how many rows and how many slots and so on the inventory should have. And we want to take that functionality and move it down to the specific chest so that we can say that this chest, this specific chest, needs to have 10 slots and it needs to have 2 rows, for example. And then we can create an other chest that has 20 slots and 5 rows, for example. By doing this, we get the ability to customize all our chests because right now we can't make chests with different um, amount of items because this chest inventory here decides how many slots it has and how many rows it has. So every time we open a chest, it will have 20 slots and 5 rows. But that's all going to change now when we add the new script and change the uh, old functionality here. Besides being able to decide how many rows and slots each, each uh, chest will have, each chest will also contain its own items. Because right now all the items for our chest are, are stored inside the inventory script here, which is connected to the specific um, inventory here that we're showing every time we open a chest. And this means if we open one chest and put in some items and we go to another chest, well then we are looking at the same items because we are opening up this chest inventory canvas here every time we look into a chest. So instead of doing that, we are going to take the items and put them inside each chest so that every chest is responsible for its own items, which also makes more sense because in the real world when we put something in a chest, well then the items are in that chest, not somewhere else. So let's get started adding the new functionality. We can start doing that by opening up the chest script here. And in here we'll have to add the, um, the fields that we need to um, decide how large our inventory should be. And we also have this uh, variable here, inventory, and we're going to change it a little later. Um, but for now, just leave it. We, we don't need to delete it because we just need to change its type later. So first of all, we need to make a public integer called rows, a public integer called slots, and a public integer called slot size. When we have done that, we can save the script, and if you jump out in Unity, you'll notice that our um, chest here now has these new rows and slot and slot size, so that we can decide how large this specific inventory should be. So jump back into your script, and we also talked about that every single chest should contain its own items, so we need to create a new list that contains the different uh, items. And if you remember, then whenever we store some items on a slot, it's stored in something called a stack so that we can pop these items here. So if I just go in here and have a look, you'll see that inside every single slot, we have this stack here called item script, which contains all the items that the slot has. So what we need to do is to make sure that our inventory or our, our chest has a list of stack item scripts so that it contain all all the stacks that an inventory has. So this will make more sense later, I hope, but let's let's have a look at it. First of all, we need to write um, private list uh, stack item scripts and then change it like this, end it like this and call it all slots. Okay, so if you're having some problem finding the list namespace, then it's because you haven't added the system that collections that generic up here. So if you're going to write using system that collections that generic up here, then all this line of code here should be fine. Um, what this is is a list of items, and the list contains stacks of item scripts. So every time we save something, let's say we save ten slots, then this one is going to contain ten stacks with the item scripts that our inventory had. So you can say that this is all the items that are stored here. Before we can use this all slots here, we'll have to instantiate it. So if you write void start, 
and open up the start function you can write all slots equals new list stack item script and have a save here so that's all we need to do in this script for now we are going to come back here later when we need to add some more functionality but for now just save this and jump back into your unity editor out here we'll need to create a new script so if you go to your script folder here and in the same folder as you have your inventory script you need to right click click create and go to C sharp script and this script should be called let's call it chest inventory so the chest inventory is going to be the, um, the script that controls every single inventory and it's going to have lots of the functionality from our normal inventory script here so try to open it up and then go to the top of the script here where it inherits from mono behavior and we need to change that into inventory and the reason that we change it into inventory is because we want to inherit a lot of the functionality from within the inventory so before we start adding some different function here we should add the fields to the inventory uh, to our new chest inventory and add the script to the object so that we can actually use it and test it out so let's make private list and again if you can't find list here just go up here in the top here and write system using system dot collection dot generic so we're going to make a private list of stacked item script and we're going to call this chest items okay so why are we creating this list inside the chest inventory well every single time we open a chest we are going to transfer the um, what are they called all the items from the chest into the chest inventory so that we can view them and move around with them and use them and so on and to do that we need something to contain them in and basically this chest items here is going to contain the specific items that the current chest we're opening has besides that we also need to make a private integer called chest slots and you'll see later why we need this and we also need to define what the amount of max slots our uh, inventories can have because basically we are going to make the um, structure like this that our um, our canvas that is going to show all the chests it's going to have a preset amount of slots let's say it has 100 slots and these slots are going to reflect what's inside the current inventory we, uh, the current chest we are viewing so basically we need to define how many slots a a chest can have maximum so that we can pre-create them when we start our game and use all these slots later in the game to view the items inside each inventory so basically these are going to be called public integer max slots so all these slots needs to be created when we start our game so we're going to make a a new function or we're going to overwrite the create layout function actually because the chest inventory is not going to show all the items or all the slots right away when we open it it's not until we go into a chest we are going to open our inventory and show what's inside it our chest inventory that is so we need to write public override create layout to override it and we don't need to call the base here then we're going to create a new um, new um, inst instance of our all slots so we can write all slots equals new list game objects so the reason that we can reach all slots here is because it's inside our inventory and we are inheriting for inventory so we can actually access it here then we're going to create all the pre-made slots that we're going to use whenever we open up a uh, an inventory we're going to make a for loop and it's going to run the sa same amount of time as our max slot and here we are going to say game object new slot equals equals instantiate inventory manager dot instance dot slot prefab so this is just going to create all the slots for us when we are uh, gener when we are running our game and then I'm going to say new slot dot name 
equal slot. And this is basically the same as we have in our create layout. Then we're going to say new slot the transform transform that set parent. This the transform to make sure that the new slot we just created is a child object of the chest inventory. Then we're going to say all slots dot add new slot. And then we're going to say actually let's just wait for that. Let's just save and then see if it works. So we are going to clear this console and then I'm going to go to my chest inventory and I'm gonna take my new chest inventory script and drag it onto it and as you can see here we already have the inventory script up here but we don't need that anymore so we're going to take all the values up here and move them down here we're going to say it has 5, 20, 2, 2 and the slot size should be 25 and the fade time is 1 and the maximum slots is let's say 100 for example so we have 100 slots or let's, let's do less, let's do 50 so you might be wondering why we are setting up the rows and the slots and everything basically these numbers doesn't really matter the amount of rows and slots because this is dictated by the inventory we run into so if our inventory uh, the, the chest we are opening has 5 slots well then this, this amount here is going to be changed for us later but let's just leave it at some numbers. The slot padding and the top uh, and the slot size and everything is going to be decided from the chest inventory because the, the chest itself shouldn't decide how the chest inventory is viewing the items. So we need one more thing. We need to set. We need to set. Um, what is it called? Sorry, I'm losing my words here. The canvas group, and the canvas group. If we click here, you'll see that it's on the item itself. So we're just going to take this chest inventory and drag it down here. So now that we have set everything up, we can actually right click on the inventory and remove the component. Because we already have our own chest inventory here, so we don't need the other inventory script. As you can see, when I remove that script, this uh, event trigger here changed and there is some missing objects. So basically you need to take this chest inventory and drag it onto every single slot here and you need to select the correct functions so you need to go to the function slot chest inventory and then you need to find the on drag and here you need to find the mouse enter uh, if I could find it yeah it's of course called pointer enter and the pointer exit here chest inventory and pointer exit so now everything is set up again so we can move stuff around inside the, the chest inventory um, if we run our game now, you'll see that our chest inventory doesn't have any slots here. Okay, so we need to figure out why the slots weren't created. So let's try to close this. And I think I know why it's not created. If we jump in here, yeah, we'll see that inside our chest inventory we have a start function and an update function. And if we look inside the inventory script, um, if I could find it here here we'll see that our start function in the inventory script is the one that is calling the create layout and so on and we're trying to overwrite create layout but because we have start here it's also overriding start so start on our inventory part of the chest inventory is never called so to make sure that it gets created just delete start and update here and then we save jump back into unity and run our game again and if we open up our chest inventory now, you'll see that we have all these uh, slots now. So now we have 50 slots we can use whenever we open up a chest inventory. So before we finish this part of the tutorial, there's one more thing we need to do. We need to be able to open up the chest. Um, the chest is not going to show anything, but we're just going to add the, the functionality so the chest opens. Um, if we go to the chest script here, uh, there we go. Uh, inside the chest script we have this public inventory and we would need to change that from inventory into chest inventory so go to your chest script and write chest inventory instead so if you save this and go into unity 
and if you find the chest you'll see that this one is not set right now so we need to take the chest inventory and drag it onto this place so that we have the inventory and if we run our game we should be able to see the background of the inventory if we run into it and open it up yeah as you can see here we have the background of the inventory uh, but we don't have any slots yet because we hadn't added that functionality so um, I'm going to end this part now and in the next one we're going to have a look at how we can take the items from the chest and move them into the inventory the visual inventory so that we can see whatever we have inside the inside every chest